I am the Deputy Chief Learning Officer, uh, and it's my job to try and find um, efficient, effective ways to provide leadership development, professional development, training, education, um, and hopefully, eventually, career pathways for all CIS employees. The National Initiative for Cybersecurity Careers and Studies, NICS from this point on, is a resource that's free for all to utilize, and it's managed by the CLO. It is a website that has considerable resources available for people to look at a gamut of things, from training to careers to career planning, scholarships, it's all right there. The way that it benefited me was actually before I came on as an employee with DHS, I was able to look at some of the content and look at some of the training that was offered out there and go, hey, this is pretty cool because as a member of the military, it's free to me. Um, state, local, tribal, territorial, government personnel, it's free. One of my friends from an Army Reserve Unit in Europe said, hey, you know, what have you got that I can get my reserve units back up to speed on? And I said, I got you. So I showed them the website and they dove in there and started doing the training. Everything from baseline refresher, reverse engineering, um, you name it. Uh, and again, free resource for them to, to get at when at that time, if you're in the reserves, even if you're activated, there, there's a window of non-accessibility to government resources, well, not with our site. So what it does is it, it connects folks, right? So if, if you're an entity and you're offering unique and specialized training, they can see that. If you're an entity and you're looking at trying to take a person who basically isn't sure about where they want to go or if they even fit in cybersecurity, you can see that. There is a workforce guide, a workforce planning guide that will walk you through from basic to expert and articulate for you in plain language how you can understand what that means. And then of course the training courses are there if you want to get a refresher or if you're trying to transition careers with 12,000 courses ranging from K to gray I like to say, not K through 12. I think there's something there for everyone. You don't have to know the lexicon of cybersecurity words to be able to dive right in. One of the core aspects of being at CISA, we are a entity who thrives on relationships. Um, and we are seen as the broker of information. It makes sense that we would provide a resource that allows a large swath of the American people, whether you're young or you're, you're middling, you're going into high school, college, you're transitioning careers, to be able to dive into something that isn't marketing to you, um, that is trying to provide you resources to enrich and enhance you. You know, um, we say people first in our organization, again, a part of our social culture, well, it's people first in everything that we do. So we provide this resource so that individuals can become part of a greater team, a greater theme, and uh, enhance themselves, which automatically enhances us all. I have been with um, CISA slash NPPD, National Programs Protections Directorate, since um, 2011. Um, and I basically retired out of United States Cyber Command, uh, came to CISA, which then was NPPD, um, I've loved the ability to walk across the organization as my curiosity and my career desires afforded me those opportunities. Um, being able to be seen as a valued resource wherever we go within the organization. And then understanding that um, psychological safety and the ability to be heard and to be our authentic selves and to honestly come into the workplace as me and feel like and know that I'm somewhere that I actually belong. Um, that, is a, that is a mighty thing. 